Roboteers, I'm Funky Monkey, back with another bout in the Robot Rumble. This week, the might of the US military against one of its own, a robot whose only desire is to live free. Yes, Johnny Five seeks to escape military service in short circuit. <laughs> Released in 1986, Short Circuit is the tale of a nuclear transport robot who gains sentience and the trials and tribulations as he seeks his freedom from the military and helps his new friends with their own problems. With a slender budget of $9 million, this movie made over $40 million at the US box office and even today holds a 67% audience rating on Rotten Tomatoes. But can this previous form overcome the might of the Robot Rumble? There's only one way to find out. So ladies and gentlemen, let's get ready to Robot Rumble with our third bout, Short Circuit. We open to a demonstration of the latest creation from Nova Robotics, The Saint. The Saint, or Strategic Artificially Intelligent Nuclear Transport. Oh, those clever fellows and their acronyms. But their creator, one Newton Crosby, is less than thrilled mixing with the crowds. And yet, needs must. But there's a storm brewing, and a chance bolt of lightning. Being that lightning is the stuff of life, as witnessed in the Frankenstein story, puts the shock of a lifetime into number five. Who breaks from the pack? and is buffeted by fate. And his own burgeoning sentience. But the higher-ups are rattled about the malfunction. They needn't be, as number five seeks only input. The internet would seem to be a good source for it, but it's so polluted with opinion. And as we all know, pure input is fact only. And through a vehicular mishap, <laughs> Stephanie Speck enters the picture. Stephanie Speck, animal lover, vegetarian food vendor, crazy cat lady in training. Nah, I kid, I kid, I kid. She's lovely, she's lovely. And when she hears a noise in her van, the discovery of Number five leads her to a conclusion. Now, Miss Speck's conclusion is that number five is an alien. Obviously, this is the wrong conclusion, but a conclusion it remains. Eventually... Yeah, this part takes a while. Number five mimicking Stephanie's movements until she finally finds the correct command to get him to actually move out of her truck. <laughs> Stephanie leads her discovery inside and gives him a crash course on Earth. Art for Abyssinia, Adam Duck, Adam Duck. Paper encyclopedias. Those were the days. Pity and Carter never really took off. Though our hero can educate himself better with television. Though it's a fair bit slower than speeding through books. But an unfortunate encounter with Stephanie's dog reveals the truth. Saint prototype number five, Nova Robotics Damon. Oh, well, now you just hang on a second there, Missy. You were the one who assumed that he was an alien. He never said anything about it, one way or the other. And so the hunt is back on. But oh dear, number five learns about death. Yeah. Grasshoppers are pretty robust, but they're not cockroaches. Cockroaches are nigh immortal. Which leads to a right royal robot rampage. <laughs> but when the security team attack, it's all the cover Crosby needs. Don't worry folks, he's okay. He's just sleeping. <laughs> I bet if Stephanie knew he had a sleep mode, she would have clicked him off right quick, save him from an all night TV binge. But our hero is modular. And one faint later... Play-Doh. 
He's in possession of his own private parts truck. And there's only one place to hide out. Next morning, Stephanie agrees to meet with Newton, and they almost hash out a deal. But the other saints have other plans. Of course, the main strategic flaw in their plan was that they all attacked him one by one, instead of all of them at once. If they'd all ganged up on number five at once, they might have captured him. And worse, Scroder was hiding in plain sight the whole time. Enter number five to rescue Stephanie. Still, Newton gets his meeting as father and son bond by the light of the stars. And come the dawn, Newton believes. Oh, I get it. <laughs> it weren't that funny. Oh, you've heard the one about the three holy men. <laughs> Wonder if he knows the difference between a duck. But this dawn shall be far from glorious, as Scroder and his murderous ilk make their approach. No, the CEO Howard Marner attempts to talk down our humans. But Scroder's having none of it. And number five makes one final desperate flight. But shock! It was all a ruse. And so our movie ends as our heroes ride off to new adventures. So that was Short Circuit. And in the Battle of the Saints versus the Robot Rumble, this one goes to the judges. This movie seems to capture the very essence of the 80s for me. Steve Gutenberg, who was never as big as he was then. Ali Sheedy, the quintessential 80s heroine, who is actually quite ballsy. The plot is rather thin again. Robot struck by lightning, proves his sentience, fakes out evil military to ride off into the sunset. But the joie de vivre of our protagonist more than makes up for it, and every bit of business reinforces his childlike wonder. And the performances too from our leads, veer from concern to confusion to genuine affection. And G.W. Bailey, another alumnus of the Police Academy movies, is as hateable as ever as the hard-nosed security chief Scroder. And much as it is a terrible mockery of South Asians in general, Fisher Stevens is still a guilty pleasure as malapropping stereotype Ben. And I can't have been the only one to shed a tear for what seemed to be Number Five's demise. It's not all good though. It's sweary enough for a supposed family movie. And a few of the effects would look stunning with a coat of CGI, but at 94 minutes, it doesn't feel padded, or even relaxed. The pacing is smooth, flowing from scene to scene. Overall then, Short Circuit is a triumph. Perhaps not the most ambitious robot movie of all, but certainly one that I can recommend for most if not all, of the family. This has been Review Unit Funky Monkey, wishing you purpose in your sentience. End of line. Join the heroic legion of Patreon subscribers today! You could get your name in the credits, early access to new episodes, request your favourite game, movie or anime to be reviewed, or even be in the show yourself. Sign up at my Patreon site. I'll see you there!